What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. In this quick guide, I'll be showing you how you can play Steam games designed for Windows on Linux. It's actually super simple. First of all, you'll obviously need Steam installed, for which there's many ways to get it depending on your system. Now, I'm using Arch, but it doesn't really matter what you're using. Usually, you'll open some kind of discover, add or remove programs, etc. window where we can simply search for Steam and install it. When you install it, it's usually the Steam flat pack, meaning it's pretty much all prepared and ready to work in your your system out of the box. When you launch it up, it'll update and start as Steam would usually on Windows. Obviously, you'll need to have your login credentials handy so you can sign in now. Now, inside of Steam, the first thing we need to do is enable Steam Play, which means we can play cross-platform titles. Usually, only native games like Dota 2, Counter-Strike, etc. will work. However, to play anything else, you'll need to enable Steam Play. Usually, Play will be grayed out and you'll have a Windows icon here. So, in the top left, click Steam, followed by Settings. And in this pop-up window, head across to Compatibility. And in here, we'll need to enable Steam Play for all other titles. This will allow all of the games on the list here to have the Windows icon removed and you should be able to play them under some kind of emulator or virtualization. It'll require you to restart Steam as soon as you take that icon and when you do, if you head back to Steam Settings Compatibility, you can see that in here we can choose between different Proton versions for games to run under. For the most part, you won't be playing under this. I'm pretty sure it sets based on your system and that's that. It's good enough. Once that's enabled and Steam is restarted, you can head across to practically any game and hit play. The first time you try to launch a game, Proton will be downloaded and set up first, so you may need to click it twice. Now, as for your graphics driver, just before we get to actually playing it, you should be playing on the best, most optimized graphics driver for your system. For example, for NVIDIA, there's proprietary and open source graphics drivers, as far as I understand, the proprietary ones work a little bit better for gaming, AI, etc. So that's what you should probably go ahead and install on NVIDIA. As for Intel and the rest, I'm pretty sure it's all just set up out of the box. NVIDIA is the only one that doesn't want to play nice. And I can check by opening console and on NVIDIA typing in NVIDIA hyphen SMI where we should then see in here that I'm running on the latest NVIDIA drivers 550 instead of Nouveau, which is the default for Linux when you install it. If you're running NVIDIA and you see NVIDIA here or a version number instead of Nouveau, then congratulations, you're probably running the correct graphics driver. If not, once again, check how to install the latest NVIDIA graphics driver on your Linux system. All right, Proton has downloaded and installed. We should be able to just click play and now the game should launch up. Do note that certain games just don't work at all. For example, this one here just doesn't want to launch at all. It starts and closes instantly. Not all games are going to be compatible with Linux. However, there's a few good ways of knowing. First of all, if it has a powerful or strong or invasive anti-cheat, such as Call of Duty, for example, you definitely don't want to be running this on Linux at all, as not only may it not work properly, but if it's running an anti-cheat that doesn't know you're going to be virtualizing a Windows-like environment on Linux, you may be banned or blocked from playing if the anti-cheat deems it banworthy or punishable. An easy way of knowing is by checking the internet for a specific site called Are We Anti-Cheat Yet? And in here, you'll see what games are supported and working properly on Linux, running, planned, broken, or outright denied. For example, we can play the Halo Master Chief Collection. It's fully supported, even with the easy anti-cheat. However, games like Fortnite are outright blocked, once again with Easy Anti-Cheat and Battle Eye. Different games have different requirements. For example, Battlefield doesn't work at all, but Apex Legends does. Some require specific things like if it's blocked completely, use the Xbox Cloud, for example, or single player co-op and custom matches won't work or will work, etc, etc. This is a good place to know, but obviously it doesn't list all games here. This is only the ones with anti-cheats that may be considered bannable, punishable, or otherwise not work with Linux Properly. To see a much more extensive list of what works with Linux, you can look at games that are verified to work on the Steam Deck, as the Steam Deck and default SteamOS are Linux. So, heading across to store.steampower.com slash create on deck, here you'll see all of the games that are working well and compatible with Linux. For example, Apex, Baldur's Gate, Elden Ring, Monster Hunter, etc. All of these are great titles that should just work out of the box. Some of these have native Windows versions, other ones just work really well under Proton, etc. So, if we search here for Call of Duty, for example, you'll see that most of them are missing, especially the newer ones with more invasive anti-cheats, but the majority of indie games, 
etc. should just work out of the box. Looking for Overcooked, for example, which is a game I tried to launch, Overcooked 1 and 2 work perfectly with Steam Deck or Linux. However, All You Can Eat, the latest release, doesn't seem to be so. So we can download a previous version and this should work properly. I'll choose my default install location, then simply play and it should launch up as you hope. There we go, it's opening up and in just a moment, we should be on the main menu. Now, of course, Linux out of the box has fantastic support for controllers, so just plugging one in, it should work straight away, no hassle. That's it. Minimal extra work required. It works almost as well as under Windows, if not just as well. And that's that. There's only one thing you should make a note of, and that is that certain games actually have settings that you should put in for better performance on Linux. For example, Dota 2. One of the things I've seen a lot of people recommend is entering in the property section, the Vulkan launch option, which is general, and then adding in hyphen Vulkan to the launch options here. This should give you better performance and compatibility under Linux, but of course different games have different suggestions, so you'll need to look up specific guides for whatever game you're trying to play on Linux. If you'd like to see me make any guides for CS2, etc., do let me know in the comments down below and I'll probably get across to it. But that's it, you now know how to successfully install Steam and not only play Linux supported games, but Windows ones too. So hopefully you found this video useful, thank you all for watching, mine's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!